I'm Terry Stevenson of the Builderall team, and in this training video, we're going to learn how to create your first Telegram bot and build a Telegram funnel. Now let's check out how we add commands. If you put your cursor right into the text field, and you see here up here on the screen in your directions, it says forward slash help for a list of commands. If you just put your cursor in there, type your forward slash, you'll start seeing categories come up, like new bot. You can click here to create a new bot. You can either type in forward slash my bots, but that's going to click this link and go right to your bots. Here's your games. I'll admit I haven't explored games. All of these commands are already listed here. Like if you wanted to change a bot's name here, you can set your description of your bot. Let's do that because this is a brand new bot for me. So I just typed in a little <laughs> description here. This is Terry's grandma bot. So we'll select it. First we have to choose the, the bot. Choose from the list below. I'll choose that bot. Now I need to, I can either edit the bot, I can work with the API token, the bot settings, delete it. I can connect payment methods. So for my builder all business, I'm going to come back here and connect Stripe. I won't do that now. So let's go back to bot. Here's where you find your bot settings. It's inline mode. I can allow, choose to allow groups, group privacy. I can connect payments and I can connect a domain. You can set the group privacy, turn it on or off. Privacy mode is enabled for grandma and I can allow groups. Turn groups off and we'll go back to the bot. So let's see about editing the bot. I can edit the name. Let's edit the name. It says, okay, send me the name for your new bot. And let's change the name for to Builderall Grandma. Now the name is updated and I can go back to the bot. I'll go back to my bots list. So we should have edited the name. And you can see over here, it's changed to Builderall Grandma. So that's how you edit your name. I can do the same thing by editing what it's about the bot topic, get the edit commands for the bot and change it specifically for the bot by getting into this category. Now I'm going to set up a user picture by going down my commands list, choosing that. I need to choose the bot first. That's the grandma bot. Now it says to send me the new profile photo for the bot. I'm going to use this photo. Send as photo and we'll put a caption up caption on it of builder all grandma. It's got my it's got that. That's a bit large but it's up there. So that's how you go about setting up your profile, changing your name. Just remember you always just type in that forward slash and you're going to get all of these commands pop up into the desktop app. And you can also cancel it anytime. So explore those. I want to cover in the next part of the video, I want to cover how you create the funnels in the brand new Builderall Telegram funnel app. So we'll check that out now. So we're back here in Telegram and we've learned the basics and an overview, but now how can we use them? We're going to build a bot specifically for a lead magnet leading to a website. Very first thing I need to do is click the robot. We're going to go to bot father. It's going to give us the alert, ask us the question, do we want to open the desktop? And yes, we do. So we're going to open up the desktop. We're going to create a new bot. Type in forward slash, create new bot, and we're going to name it. I'm going to name it with initials after my website and 
the name of my lead magnet. Now we need to choose a username for the bot and it has to be something like Terry bot or Tetris bot. So we'll just do TSO bot. How's that? And we're going to send it. Since TSO bot seems to be taken by the system, I'm going to use this username, TSO Terry bot. And there we go. We've got my bot. This is the actual bot that I'm going to use for this funnel. So now that I've gotten all the pertinent information, which is the username, the direct link, and the API key. and close out of our desktop app for the moment. Now that we've got the bot made, we can come here and create a new funnel. So here is our bot funnel. So we're going to click plus, and this is where you're going to put your API code paste it in and send it. And now we have the new TSO Terry bot for the funnel name TSO Storytelling Marketing. Close out of that now. Now we're going to hit the plus sign and create a new funnel. Now this funnel name, you can name it whatever you like. Let's see, I'll call it, let's call this funnel TSO Free Ebook. We're going to select the bot from a drop down menu. I'll choose the TSO Storytelling Marketing Bot. We're going to save it. So here's our funnel, and it's a brand new funnel. It can be reached at TSO Terry Bot, and we can edit it. That brings us to a page where we'll be able to monitor our statistics and our leads. But down here is where we're going to, under schedule, is where we're going to create our funnel. We're going to start by creating the very first message when somebody sends a message to this bot. And we can create the conditions. We can stipulate the time in minutes and create a message. Down here, if you want to use the lead name, you can copy this little dollar sign save that's in red. It's kind of tricky because it's very small, but go ahead and copy that, paste it, create your message, paste it right in there, read it, and it says, hi, puts in their first name. Thank you for stopping by. Click this link to get your free ebook. Let me know if you have any questions. It looks like I've got an extra space in there, so I'm going to pull that up. I think I have an extra space here, and it says, Everybody has a story. What's yours? Terry. So I can save that message. I can also edit that message. Let's say I that's coming in at zero time. Let's say I want to delay it. Although I think your very first message is wise to come as soon as they come into your chat. Another thing I'd like to mention is this link here. Don't forget that wonderful redirect feature we have in our back office. So I've got this redirect link cookied to my affiliate link. And on top of that, I can access those statistics through that menu. That's just a quick reminder there. So I really suggest you create your messages ahead of time and then just make it a really quick copy and paste like this. Perhaps just changing your tag in there to insert the user's first name, the visitor's first name, and then you click save. Now, if you want to delay it in minutes, we would do that up here. We're not going to do it on this first message, so I'll hit save. Let's add the second message. So we're going to Make sure we're active on this message and then click add another one. And we'll delay this two minutes. You choose, you, you want to engage as quickly as possible and then move them on to another aspect of your marketing campaign, perhaps a full fledged funnel. Uh, a video, but I've created a message and I'll paste it in here. And the goal of this at this point, the message is to drive them to my website. So I've pasted a short message that says, if you'd like to have access to my training on how to use video to tell your story, click. And I delayed it two minutes. 
and I'm going to save it. Now, what I've done here is, as you're looking in your back office, you'll see we have the welcome message that comes in at the beginning of the funnel, and the second message, which comes in two minutes later. As you build your funnels, you can enlarge and make these smaller because these can get as long and as complicated as you want. Perhaps you want to add a step here and say a condition if they didn't click on the link in five minutes and you put a link in here rather than just your link here. You send another message, you save it. Now let's make that smaller. So now we have two options here. If they don't click on the link, they're going to get this message. And if they do click on the link, they'll get this message. You can get very, very elaborate. And remember that this bot that you're creating, this bot is just one simple bot. You can create as many bots as you like. Then as you employ them and invite people to your bots, you're gathering their phone numbers, you're engaging them, you can track your clicks, your leads, and your messages, and your leads will appear here. Get in there, figure it out, and just play around with it. And then send the link to somebody and practice and join each other's groups so you can test it out and see how to really make the most of this tool. You can also have groups dedicated and bots dedicated to specific groups. And you can form private Telegram groups. So that's one thing that I'm really excited about is having a private Telegram group for my team. There's lots of exciting possibilities, and I know this is just a bare beginning, but I really wanted to get this out to you users as soon as possible. Let me know what you build, what kind of funnels you want to build, and we'll get in and figure it out together. Have an awesome day.